the first thing to say is you don't use the Amazon website or the Amazon store from your Kindle. You've got to go to the Gutenberg website. What are we going to do here? I'm going to go to gutenberg.org and here's the website here with the web address at the top. You can see that there's 33,000 free books to load choose from and you can choose by author or by title, have a look through the catalogues or the shelves. We're going to have a go at loading something by PG Woodhouse. So let's see if there's something on the site. Yep, there are books by PG Woodhouse and quite a few. We're going to have a go at downloading Right OGs. So, we click the book we want and it tells us up here the book we've selected. Now what we do is we choose the format. Do we want Kindle format? Yes. So we select that. I'm using Chrome as my browser, so it downloads down here onto the on the download bar. If you're using Safari or you're using Firefox or Internet Explorer, it'll download to a different place, but I assume you know where that is. The file name's a little unfriendly, so just prior to putting it up onto the Kindle, I'm going to take it over to my desktop. I'm going to right-click it and rename it. Let's call it Right Ho Jeeves and leave the full stop in the Mobi extension, that's important. The Mobi extension is the Amazon Kindle format. It'll only read books that have got that format, and that's how it tells. So, the next stage is to connect the Kindle. Loading books onto the Kindle from Project Gutenberg is done through the power cable. So we take our normal connection end, plugging it in, and then we take the USB cable and plug it into the computer. After a couple of seconds the computer acknowledges and recognises it, and we get the USB data mode screen. That's when we know that our computer is connected to the Kindle. Here we have the standard file manager and our Kindle has been connected. And when it was connected in, it should have appeared down here as a device. We can see that the Kindle device here is the K drive. And if you're lucky, it'll also open up you a small window giving you options. We want to view the folders within the device, so we can click on that there. And it takes us into a new file manager window showing us the four directories within a standard Kindle. Music, Documents, Audible and Active Content. To load your new book up it's as simple as dragging and dropping or copying or however you get files onto your device. We just drop it into the Documents directory. Open up the Documents directory and we've got the book called writeogs.mobi right next to Persuasion and some other stuff. Okay, that's it. It's loaded on there. We close that. We disconnect our Kindle from the PC or Mac or whatever by disconnecting the USB and you can see we've no longer got our K drive. Finally, we've disconnected our Kindle from the computer and we've uploaded our Project Gutenberg book. Switch it on and there it is, fourth one down. Okay, 33,000 books to choose from, enjoy.